Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash relationship advice, where OP is stuck in a very messy situation. Let's begin. It looks like it's over. Posted by Reddit user Random Dude. T Day was some two months ago, the day my life was turned upside down. I find my wife of 18 years crying. I ask her what was wrong. My gut had been screaming at me that something was amiss for about two weeks prior. When I ask her, she initially says it's nothing, I press. She breaks down and tells me she's no longer in love with me and that she had been feeling that way for a year prior. My body goes weak, I almost faint and then I throw up. Our 8-year-old son and 7-year-old daughter walk in and ask me what's wrong. I say I'm not feeling well. I sit down with my wife and she says she's sorry, but she doesn't feel the same way anymore, I press. She eventually confirms my suspicions. She's been having an emotional affair with a work colleague younger than her. She says she's not had any physical contact with him. She says our relationship is broken, can't be salvaged, and that she's in love with this other guy. I tell her we need to separate unless she is willing to work on things and cut all contact with the other guy. The following day, we cried and talked. She says she will cut all contact and work on our relationship. She texts him saying it's over and then she goes for a walk by herself to get some air. When she comes back, I ask to look at her phone. The call log shows she called him. I tell her, you called him to tell him the text wasn't your idea and that nothing's changed between you two, haven't you? She laughs in disbelief and admits it. I say that's it, we're separating. We later agreed to work things out. Initially I say she has to leave her work. Instead, she takes some time off and promises to go no contact with the other guy. She blocks him everywhere. The following day I found out from a mutual friend, in which she confided, that they kissed the previous week. I blow my top and again say it's over, to pack her shit and leave. We cool down and she grudgingly agrees to go to couples counseling. She agrees to work on our marriage, but insists she doesn't feel in love with me. We attend the sessions but seem reluctant to follow the therapist's advice and says she can't force her feelings back. I get the feeling she's just going through the motions without any real commitment, despite her assurances to the contrary. During this time, I attend individual counseling which helps. Initially, I was a mess, confided in good friends and, in particular, a Redditor, whom has been amazing, you know who you are and you're a fucking godsend. I go through the process of dealing with my emotions. First, there was disbelief, then anger, I'm still at the anger stage. My wife, who is not the most empathetic of people, starts to get angry and frustrated with me for asking her questions and doubting her faithfulness. This has just happened a couple of times, at the beginning when I caught her in the lie and today. So much so that we have a fight earlier because I'm being too overbearing with her and says she's hurting too, without seeming to fully grasp how she's dropped the fucking nuclear bomb on our family's lives. I asked her if she knew we weren't right a year ago why didn't she tell me then, because I did ask her numerous times if all was okay with us and she passed it off as me being paranoid. Funnily enough, a year ago is roughly when she started to have contact with the other guy, but she swears up and down she's only had a thing for him since before the holidays. She says she thought she could fix it herself and now doesn't think it can be fixed at all, despite not having worked at it together with the help of a professional. So today, after our argument, she tells me she can't carry on like this. So I guess we're done. OP, you have said to your whore wife that you are done about three times now. So she knows that you don't have the balls to actually do it. And even if she leaves, you always welcome her back with open arms like the good simp that you are. Look man, I understand the need to want to save the marriage. But this woman doesn't want to save anything other than herself. At this point, you're just her backup plan. Just in case this dude pumps and dumps her, which will be the most likely scenario. OP, sometimes you have to let things go. No matter how hard it may be, you have to let it go. Stop asking her to move out. Just pack her shit and let her be on her merry way to get ran through by dozens of men. Don't forget to tell your kids in an age-appropriate manner exactly why the two of you are divorcing. Good luck to you. And now for today's second story. My wife cheated and is now pregnant. Posted by a throwaway Reddit account. Long story short, my wife, Anna, cheated on me. I don't know why. She says she doesn't know why either. Anytime I ask anything, it's just a river of tears. She says sorry and begs me to forgive her and forget it but I can't. 
But leaving hasn't been easy either. We have two boys together. She's my high school sweetheart. Our families are longtime friends and are still tight with each other. They've all urged me to stay for the kids. To forgive her since it was one time. To not give up all the good because of one bad. But the worst part is she's pregnant. I found out about the pregnancy from my mother as I had her blocked and wasn't living in the same house anymore. I demanded a paternity test. She readily agreed and swore she'd get rid of the child if it was not mine. She's had nothing but curse words for her affair partner. But then, all she's done since getting caught, didn't confess, is curse the guy and herself and cry. She's threatened to end herself. All she does is hug the boys and cry. I'm waiting on the results. I'll divorce her anyway, but she says the baby is for sure mine that she slept with him once, whereas we'd been intimate pretty much every night the duration of her affair. It lasted two months, I think. They met, talked, and slept only once if I'm to believe her. I don't know why, but the idea of the child being mine disgusts me. It feels like she couldn't commit to anything, not to me nor the other guy. Why was she cheating if I was satisfying her? How is it that she wanted to talk about her feelings with some random man but not me? How is she sharing her deepest thoughts and feelings with this guy and being with me at once? How does that even work? I've always thought cheating was because you weren't being fulfilled by your partner at home. I've read all these stories of wives leaving their kids, denying affections to their husbands, making jokes at the husband's expense, ruining the men financially, etc. She's done nothing of that sort. She's still the best mother I could have hoped for my sons. They love her more than they love me, I know. She was still the same loving and giving woman I fell for while she was being with the other guy, I saw her texts, the ones she hadn't deleted, and every other text is I love my husband, I don't understand, I can't make heads or tails of this situation. If I did give her a baby, am I expected to forget and move back in? What if I can't do that? It's easy hating the child now because that might be her affair partners, but what if it's mine and I still hate it? I genuinely don't know how to be without her, our entire lives are interwoven. Some days I want to go back to the blissful ignorance I was living in. The DNA report takes a week I believe. It's been three days. My sister, she visits Anna regularly. I'm angry about that too because she's only visited me twice, says my wife just looks at our wedding photos and cries. We have a whole junkyard collection worth of pictures and memories. She begged me to go see her once. I am clueless of how to proceed. It would have been so much easier if she had been a horrible woman for those two months that I could begin to look back and hate, but I can't. Life had been as normal and sweet as ever. I don't even have a bad memory of her I can use to hate her. Our last big fight before this, I can't even remember. I'm going to see her and my boys tomorrow. I think I'll ask for DNA tests on them too. I know they're mine. But you never know. Maybe I'll do it just to hurt her. Maybe I'll find something and I'll just hurt myself more, but that feels so unfair to the boys. Just how do I make sense of this? Edit. I called her. She was crying again but agreed to meet with me. I told her I was going with divorce one way or another, but whether we can ever reconcile a few years later or not fully depends on her honesty. She was crying and her voice sounded rough but after a while, she said she would tell me everything, so she does know why she did it. But for some reason, she asked me to bring my sister along. My sister hasn't said anything either, I'm only praying my sister doesn't turn out to be an accomplice or something. She didn't beg for forgiveness or say think about our kids after I told her how manipulative she's sounding. She seemed genuinely shocked to realize how she was holding me hostage with her threats. Does that mean something deeper? Are they actions of someone who has remorse? Edit. I talked to her. She showed me all the evidence and I found out which the man was. I am certain now that she was in fact assaulted. However, Anna doesn't seem to think so. She says she didn't fight back and had goaded him, which made him attack her. I cannot update because Reddit is being strange. I have decided to put everything on hold for now and just take her counseling. Nothing else until I get the paternity results on the baby. Thank you so much for all the advice. And now, for OP's update. So the DNA reports came back and the baby is mine. I wasn't even surprised at this point. The day we sat down and talked, she told me she had returned home to immediately take her birth control pill. So she was certain the baby would be mine and she once again said if by any chance it was the other guys, she would abort the baby. That she had no plans or desire to have kids with anyone except me. I won't lie, her words were a good comfort to me, I could tell she was telling the truth. I've been reading too many Reddit stories of men finding out their wives were all too willing to have some random man's child. I cannot lie, even the idea of that made me sick. I asked her if she'd keep this baby even if I filed for divorce. She said yes. 
so that's where we're at in terms of the baby. As for the other guy, not disclosing too many details, it was a relative of hers. An older cousin who had been harassing her for a long time, literally since before we even met. She just never said anything to me or complained because her family and frankly mine too are obsessed with the entire family comes before all mindset. I'm seeing this pressure to keep everything together happen to me in real time after all. Anyway, long story short, he had returned to our hometown around three months ago and started texting, followed and harassing her. Hence why all the blocked numbers and repeated texts of being happy with me and loving only me. She admitted to sending him a videotape of us being intimate as a way to make him ashamed of her and leave her alone. That she had repeatedly spoken about me and mocked him when he insisted he could do better. She thinks all this goading and insulting had triggered him to attack her and she never said anything to me because she is certain it was her fault for engaging with him. That if she had ignored him like before, he'd have just left her alone. I've seen enough texts, confronted enough people and heard enough to confirm she isn't lying. Now I'm just focused on getting this woman the therapy it turns out she has needed for a long time. I have decided on legal separation for now, but haven't met with the lawyer yet. Our kids will have both of us of course and I'm happy to know at least my irrational hate for the baby is gone. It's the only positive thing I'm feeling right now. I'm beginning to think clearer now. Reddit has helped me feel confident in protecting myself. I don't feel so selfish now. I will support Anna because she desperately needs it. Our relationship needs work but that comes second to her health, our baby and our sons. I'm going to work on us but I'm also taking steps to protect myself and the boys. I have Reddit to thank for giving me the confidence to do this and not feel guilty. Much thanks for that. Edit. I am not divorcing her. It's a temporary separation because she needs to heal first before we can be a couple again. Her response to being harassed by that man was putting herself on me. She admitted our first time over 10 years ago was in part influenced by his obsession with her virginity. Meaning our first time happened before she was actually ready for something like that. Her response to his texts was sending intimate videos of us. Her response to me trying to get some space was trying to seduce me back into bed with her. I'm not a therapist, but that attitude is not healthy. That much even I can tell. Right now, her idea of therapy is to pretend like nothing happened and try to get intimate with me at any opportunity, and she takes me saying no as rejecting her for being used. I'm not helping her with this separation I know, but I can tell I'm not helping her cope by being too close either. A little separation is best as suggested by the therapist and lawyer. Yes, I know she didn't cheat. It's that the title has to be same for an update. I'm not calling her assault cheating. OP I'm gonna be honest here, her entire behavior is really shady. I really think she enjoyed the attention and was provoking him even more by sending intimate videos of the two of you. I really think it's consensual. Look, if you really believe that what happened to her is indeed factual, then do legal action against the cousin and anyone in your family who disagrees with that can go to hell with him. See their reaction then. That will tell you exactly who you should protect your children from. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong!